Because the feed's drier, we're going to have to carry in a lot more water. The llamas are going to need a lot more water this year. One to two gallons per day per llama, which is a curveball for us. That's a lot of water. And we got six llamas. We have double the llamas this year. And probably quadruple the water. <laughs> There's a creek below where we want to camp that last year was running good that we're 50-50 on whether it's going to... That's where I slipped last year. And it was a little muddy. That's a beautiful creek. Might be dry, might not be. Hope not. Hope not. Fingers crossed. Things can go wrong. We have rodeos with any type of livestock. But... We're giving llamas a try. First time for me. You might love them when we're pulling out two bull elk. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. I'll either love them or hate them, right? That's a lot of meat. I'm sure gonna love the weight of my backpack going in today, though. <laughs> Hunters often leave when you're driving home going, gosh, I wish I did something differently. You know, I, I learned so much the last two days of the hunt. It happens all the time. But to be able to repeat back-to-back -back years and go to the same area, I was felt so comfortable there. I mean, I'd been there a year prior. Went on a great hunt with Brady in an area that he was pretty familiar with for deer. We saw 10 elk to every one deer. We just saw 15 elk. We've seen three or four bulls today. And we were both looking up on Insider going, uh, we can actually draw that area. The, the hunt with Brady was almost an adventure first and then a deer hunt. You know, it was first time with livestock, first time being in the backcountry experiencing significant weather. And this time was my first time having an elk tag in my pocket. Brandon got a little, I saw Brandon get a little look in his eye like, damn Porter took me to a crappy spot, no water. You were coming down that hill and it was pretty dry. You had a little, you had some thoughts going through your mind, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Me too. Really good feeling there's a bull elk that's gonna feed out of there. Cause all the cows first and they kept looking back. There's a stuff. There's what 16 cows? Well that's the wrong time of year to not have a bull with 12 cows. Right, right. Looks like a bull on the oh it's a bull on the right. Far right. He's he's pushing his cows around. Yeah, just a little guy. Yeah, but it's a bull. You know, elk tags are not the easiest to draw in the West, and this was my first time having a tag in my pocket. You know, of course I wanted to find a really good mature bull, but I also wanted the full experience. I wanted to experience the pack out. I wanted to cook some tenderloins on the mountain. And we really had a big goal of punching two tags and pulling out of there with two bulls. We seen about 80 head in about 30 minutes. <laughs> My kind of hunting. For a guy with ADD, beautiful. Man, this is fun. <laughs> it's like a 280 bull. He won't break 300. If you're wanting to try and shoot a... I mean, the ultimate goal is that like 330 bull, but like a, you know, a... Shoot, you may three... not see a 330 bull. No, I said that's the ultimate goal. You know, we're obviously not gonna pass like a 310 bull. I mean, you, you talk if you're talking 20 inches bigger than that, I ain't passing that. You know what I mean?
like yeah. a bowl. Around. Yeah, exactly. There's a minimum of two, I think. What, what, what? We're burning. You cooked it. I, I only wanted a medium fire. You went too hot with it. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Hot, hot, hot. Hold on. Hot, hot, hot. You want any hot sauce? No hot sauce. Oi, hold on. That's good. That's good. Hold on. That's good. Hold on. You need basil. Pesto. Little bit of pesto. Okay. Hold on. You want a little bit more? No, that's good. Good for the okay. How good are these? No, they are really good. Discovered these last year. How is it not a perfect evening? Still a bit of storm left. I'm just hoping tomorrow morning's just on fire. There's, there's sun a, comes out tomorrow morning after this day. There's a high likelihood of that. We need to get an early start either way. No doubt today was tough with the. Because even this morning they were out, but just, you know what I mean? They were only yeah. out for 15, 20 minutes. We were late. Yeah. You want it higher, you want it lower? Um, no, it's something to do with that. Can you do the light on? Yeah. Go to your home. Nope. Ah. Weird that she'd be by herself. Five minutes into the morning hunt, we got a big body across the, the way, which has been a good spot for us. And it's a big body. We think it's a cat, but we're gonna double check. We can't quite tell through the blinds because it's still dark. Just say game on. What's well, a cow that the six point might like? Beautiful look. Mm -hmm. Down to the ledge. We gotta get down to the ledge. Get down there. You got him? No, I don't. Should we get set up on the ledge? He's gonna come back out. He was kind of just in and out of the tree. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Baby. Come on. Oh 
Those medallions tonight, huh? Got a broken main beam? It's completely broke off on the main beam. No, I don't want him. You don't want him? I'm gonna kill him then. Are you really? Yeah. Take him. When we kill that, we're blowing Link's elk out of here. You really? I understand. Do you want him? Go ahead. Shoot him. You don't want him? Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, damn. He's dead, right? Oh, I sure think you stoned him. Dude. I mean, with an elk? That's so hard to do. He's a good bull, broken or not. I was like, if I'm not in love and he's ready to go and he's gonna pound this thing, let's do it. Let's get one down, you know? <laughs> it's day two. Get one down, then we only got one tag to go in yeah. enough days, you know what I mean? That's so, exactly my thought. Like, yeah, I'm super so, happy with this bull. Like, super happy. This is basically what I figured I'd come to Wyoming for. for one sure. with two horns, but <laughs> a broken horn bull is pretty cool too. Absolutely. What, what would have happened had you shot it and we got over here and it was a broken horn bull? I would have been fine. I mean, I would have been damn fine. I just figure my little man's gonna be so happy 100%. with this bull elk hanging in his room. And we're gonna be happy tomorrow when we're eating. <laughs> Some dalliance, and onions, mushrooms. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. <laughs> He's just on the top of the ridge. Top of the ridge. Top of the ridge. He's lower. I had been shooting more than I had ever shot before. I was really confident. 
Um, with all my distance, I'd been shooting a bunch with Brady in the off season. Where'd I hit him? Pull off that shot and it felt great. And the way that bull reacted, I would have bet any amount of money that I had smacked him. He's not injured at all. And we are so confused. That would have been the side that went in. Um, we confirmed it was a clean miss. On a general tag, that bull was, that's as good as it gets. And it's gonna haunt me for a while. Super happy for Brandon though, and like this is awesome that we have one out down. And so pretty mixed emotions, but I'm not gonna lie, it's that miss is hitting me pretty, pretty damn hard. Biggest 38. <laughs> <laughs> Might have had just bull fever. See how that right? What do you think of that? Oh, it's amazing. Shooter bull? Uh, I like the one I shot, but it's got two horns. He's ruddy. Look at it. If you want to kill it, we need to get on the move because you're going to have to shoot him from like, <laughs> like oh, there right is. there. So you're talking about getting in the meadow? Yeah. Wouldn't we? Like looping mid, like see that big pine tree on the, that point? Yeah. Crawling up to there and shooting him. Isn't he feeding up? Yeah, but not very quick. Five by five. Looks like a mature bull to me. Yeah, he's got decent beams. You know, he's decently heavy. Well, what do you think? Can you go put a play on him? If you'll shoot him. Yeah, you I'm want to shoot him. him? I'll shoot him. You don't sound very enthusiastic. Well, it's not my call. No, I know, but I mean, I'm situation do we feel like we have a good situation here well, I think we kill him First elk. <laughs> I caught him from running over here. <coughs> we were sprinting in my crosshairs. I'm sure I saw him. You hit him full shots. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, I thought the first one missed. No, that was a hit. Dude, we beelined it. We got a lot of elk meat. <laughs> what a day. 
shoot Miss on Giant this morning. I spent five hours packing out your elk from yesterday. I barely could walk. This evening I was like, oh, let's take it easy and hunt the meadow. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Talk about adrenaline. I mean, you had you had sprinting down to the bull in time before shooting lights over, and then connecting at such a close distance, and, and you know, taking care of the animal, and that's pitch black, and stars are out. It's like gorgeous. I remember starting to talk with logistics with Brandon, and we're like, okay, cool. So we can't pack this this thing out right now, right? It's two trips, so we're gonna we're gonna take care of the meat, hang it like we did with Brandon's. So we're gonna go back to camp tonight and then roll back down here with llamas so that's gonna eat up the next day. Ready to go tomorrow. Yo, Renegade. He hates us, but he loves us. Keep ground. Always looking like, maybe he's a hunter. He's always glassing. You know what I mean? He's always like, you know what I mean? Hunter with ADD. <laughs> yeah, like me. <laughs> Tokyo, what are you saying, bud? Uh... What are you saying, Tokyo? We have six llamas that can do technically 90 pounds each. That's 540 pounds. So we have 160 pounds to play with before the heads of the llamas. If we're doing the long ones, you're saying that's what, 70 pounds? That's, that takes up most of the llama. It appears we have 90 pounds extra that can go on the llamas. And 45 each side is really maxing them out. We'd have to go slow. So They're good with 45 though? What? They're good with 45? Yeah. Okay. And I mean, yeah, we had six llamas, which is a ton of llamas, but we still had to cut a bunch of weight. So we were just crushing food that night. We ate an entire tenderloin. It was a fantastic tenderloin with a little pinch of pesto on there. It was amazing. That hunt's gonna be hard to top because it was a heck of an adventure. All the memories of like connecting on the two bull elk and dealing with all the weight and bonding with Brandon up there and so many good memories. And that was one of the most enjoyable hike outs. You know, it's beautiful country. Um, Wyoming's a special place. Whoa, 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 Jesus. Are they all gonna like stampede out? Yeah. I got one. That's it. <laughs> Good job, guys. So then we quarter them and hang them in some, some aspen trees. Next morning is when we're on that other elk, shoot and miss. Then we have to take the llamas down, pack this one out. And then I killed that night. Wow. And then all we did yesterday was pack this one out. Get it and back then to camp. all we did, we woke up at sunrise today and just packed camp, got organized, pulled out, and we just got here.